Hi friends. So today I'm going to share a very interesting topic and uh, as we know that in today's world we become so impatient uh, even if we want to wait for something uh, probably any bus or train or any person if we want to wait for uh, we become very impatient we start getting impatient and this affects our relationship with God because we want everything instantly and when we are praying for a long period and we feel that God is not answering our prayers sometimes we just give up praying for that thing and uh, this causes uh, so this is what uh, led me to you know actually even I was praying and I was asking the Lord and beautiful thing which the Lord revealed to me is that uh, oftentimes we want to move on move on to the next season of life and not appreciate this season itself so this season itself has a wonderful plan of God. We need to know like what God wants us to do in this season. And uh, it's there in the word Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 8. For everything there is a season and a time for everything, every matter under heaven. So time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. And there is a time for everything. That means there is a season. God has planned this season for something. And I need you to ask these questions to yourself and know what God wants you to do. What does Jesus want me to do in this season? Not in the next season, in this season. Am I doing that thing? So if you don't know what to do, you need to ask him. And uh, are you doing that thing? Or am I being impatient and waiting for the next season to come? So we all are waiting for the next season but sometimes we just miss what plan God has for this season. And this season is something very good for us. So I, uh, I want to share my experiences. First I want to share like about patience like my mom was touched quite many years ago and uh, she had been praying for the entire family right from the year 2001 so approximately 15 to 17 years she it ha has been passed off and she was praying so after her prayers probably six to seven years after her you know she was continuously praying i was i encountered christ and then my brother encountered christ after me coming to the Lord four years later so probably she had to wait sometimes 10 years sometimes 15 years for me my mom uh, my me my brother and my dad and this is how her prayers were answered so praise the Lord for this that uh, the Lord answers our prayers but it takes time sometimes so this scripture was very much which enlightened me and hopefully it will enlighten you is there in Exodus chapter 13 verse 17 to 18. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines. Although that was nearer, for God thought if the people face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness towards the Red Sea. This scripture literally stuck me like God, uh, there was a shortcut to go but still God made them go through the wilderness and uh, took a long cut because he was telling that if they face war with the Philistines before they enter the promised land, if they face war by the Philistines, they will return to Egypt. So probably if you are not we are not in that state we are not yet prepared for what god wants to give us and that is why he know that if we uh, if he gives us that thing so easily we might uh, not be able to handle it and we may just go back to our old ways so god wants us to uh, so he is giving us a route which is quite longer so quite long time is taking because god is really preparing he prepared Abraham to become the father of faith. Though he was, he was destined to be the father of faith, but it took a long time. 
Moses had to wait for 40 years in, and Israelites were there in the wilderness for 40 years before they went into the promised land. So every person in the Bible if you look had to go through a phase and since God qualifies the unqualified, He makes us go through the phase so that we are prepared for what He wants to give us. So they took 40 years but I don't think we will take so much years, 40 years. God can uh, 40 days, 40 months, I don't know how, many, how much time God will take but if we respond to God and we cooperate to His plan, if we sanctify ourselves, I think things will work out pretty soon. With this I want to share some scriptures and uh, the scriptures is are quite good like Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says So let us not grow very weary in doing what is right for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up And uh, Psalm 27, uh, in Psalm 27 we see wait, uh, wait for the Lord, be strong and let your heart take courage, wait for the Lord and at the same time, we will see James, the letter of James is quite good and there it is written, Be patient therefore beloved, until the coming of the Lord, the farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it, until it receives the early and the late rains. For you also must be patient, strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See the judges standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So here we see that how Job also had to wait patiently in suffering so we all have to go through that trials and endurance before God prepares us for whatever we are asking him or whatever he has planned for us with all these things uh, I hope this video encourages you to uh, stay patiently wait and not only wait but to act also and what God wants us to do in this season and not in the next season so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe Thank you. Bye-bye.